about 52 degrees out I think right now kind of chilly definitely kind of chilly cold air is going right through my jeans I think it might be time to invest in some assless chaps maybe I'll model those absolutely not this light never changes for the weight of my motorcycle so we run it video I put up, the last video 
I put up. Big difference between this and uh, you know dump truck. I'm all over the place here. You know, right now I'm up from Savannah through Garden City, through Hardyville, through um, Harleyville, through Charleston, back up, and then running. So anybody down here in like the southeast, you know exactly where I'm at, where I'm going. Sometimes we go to um, Myrtle Beach. Sometimes I go to Washington, Georgia. You know, sometimes I go almost all the way down to Gainesville, Florida. Um, we got a mobile plant that's pretty much almost between Jacksonville and Gainesville, way down there. Uh, is a toll road. I think it's 23. I think that's what it's called. Off of uh, is it State Road 21? Maybe off of 295. Take that southwest all the way down to the intersection of the toll road, like 23, I think it's called. And um, we got a mobile plant down there that we're doing big giant jobs for. And somebody please remind me to get my my bumper. Uh, well, there's a lot of bumps on this road. South Carolina infrastructure sucks, but with a flexi straw. Um, somebody remind me to get my bumper tightened up. I got a bracket that's come loose and it's bouncing and it drives me ape shit because I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I know it's that, but when I first feel it, it's like I can feel it in the steering, I can feel it in the truck, it's like it's affecting everything. It makes me a little bit nervous. But please remind me later, I gotta get that tightened up. I also need to get a filter for the, for the inlet of my blower for pumping off the trailer. I took that apart today and checked it out. Um, yeah, I definitely need a new filter. Well, why don't I just shut up, let you guys enjoy the ride a little bit, and uh, we're just going to cruise up 95, and uh, I'll be back. Harleyville and load up again, and then we're going to go from Harleyville 
back down to Richmond Hill non-stop uh, park. So, so we don't need um, to keep a logbook because we're not over 150 straight line miles. All right, so uh, I know somebody's gonna ask if we keep logbooks. No, we don't. Uh, if we stay within 150 straight line miles. All right, now the sun might get brutal like I mentioned earlier, so we'll have to see. But it's a nice little transition from uh, I-95 northbound to I-26 eastbound to head into uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Somerville, Connors, all that. This is how you, how you get to there if you're out, out this way. So to the left of the screen, there's the ladder system that I got to climb up and open the hatch on my trailer. So I'm going to take care of that and then I'll be back. It's got my hatch opened up. So I'm going to go ahead and line up here. Silo three, this has the type of cement that we use, uh, type one cement. Uh, so we have options. Some of these silos have different things. Some, some silos have, um, like you could have, I could use silo one and silo three. Now I always like to let the people get off the scale before I get back on, or before I get on. I always try to let the scale zero. Now we're on the scale, and above us is the chute, and that railing to the top left is where we're going to be. That's the office that controls the uh, process. I like to beg up, beg up. Oh, went too far. All right, right there. Right there. All right, let's go up there. Okay, as you see, when we get up here, he already has the chute in my, uh, in my trailer, ready to go. go ahead and make minor adjustments and he'll finish uh, lining it up he'll drop the chute into the trailer and then from up above comes the cement and we have another hatch back here And that is almost the hardest part of my day. It's waiting to get filled up. Uh, now, of course, if our trailer gets blocked up, clogged up, you know, the plant gets clogged up, then you know, I gotta work a little bit, but. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad gig, man. It's really not a bad gig. And now right in front of me is a uh, one of them ladder systems that I climb up and uh, we climb up there. We drop that little thing down. That cage gets dropped down to our trailer and then uh, we step across and we are secure. So next stop will be uh, Eagle Road or whatever the hell it's called where we're gonna offload uh, this powder. And we're going to come back up here, get loaded, and head on down to Richmond Hills. So, barring anything exciting, uh, this might be it. And uh, maybe throw in a little motorcycle ride home and uh, close out this video for the day. So, uh, if I don't hear from you and you don't hear from me, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Nothing like grabbing gears and burning off some steam. <laughs>